Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss how we can send data from CSV to Elasticsearch in real time. So this is the agenda of our session, how the data will flow in our ELK application. So this is the flow means we will have a CSV files. How the data will flow in our ELK application this is the flow so we will have our csv files file we will read the data from csv file and it will send the event to logstats logstats will send the data to the elastic search the help of kivana we will monitor the data present in the elastic search here the important component where our csv configuration would be present is logstats in the logstats configuration file our CSV configuration would be present. Next, so what we need to create the above data pipeline? Number one, the folder location where the CSV data will arrive. So the location of the folder where the CSV file would be present. File with software, in our demo, we are using 6.8, Logstats, the same version, Elasticsearch, same version and Kivana software of same version. So these are the five things we need to create this particular data pipeline. For the testing, we have created one CSV file. This is our CSV file. So this is our header, the name of the column, five columns and the corresponding data. Now this is the configuration file. This is the configuration file for file bit. So this is the simple configuration file. In the path, what we have done, we have used this build pattern means the ext the file which will have a extension .csv will be read from the file bit. And the star means build card. So the file name could be anything, but the extension should be csv. This is the folder path where our csv would be present of any name so let's see the our folder path so it, i've created inside file bit only so this is our and this is the csv where you can see many csv i have put it here so this is the file bit configuration for this particular demo to read the CSV data and let's see the log stats. So for the log stats, we have a we are listening on this port 5045. So these are the configuration which we have discussed already in our previous video. So those who have not watched uh, my previous videos, please have a look on those. Those are the good videos and you will have a good understanding how the ELK application works. This is the output of the log stats. So log stats will send the data to Elasticsearch as well as it will print the data on the console. Here we have given the name of the index demo CSV. This is the port of the Elasticsearch where it is running and the filter. So filter configuration is important here. Configuration related to CSV is present here only. So we are using the CSV filter. So these are the optional, not uh, mandatory for this particular demo. CSV. So that this is the filter we need to use to read our CSV data to convert our CSV data in proper format. So let's see. So this is the CSV filter we are using. This is the CSV filter we are using. So there are only three configuration fields. One is the skip header means this is our. So we will skip this header part. This is the name of the basically columns. Second is the separator. So what is the separator? We are using the separator. The comma. So this is the comma and the columns. So name of the columns like first column is the book ID, second is name. So in that order, we have mentioned in the array, the column name. So this is the only configuration related to CSV we need to make our application. So now let's make our software running. So first I will launch the file view. So I have already launched the path here and this is the command we need to run 
this command also we discussed uh, in the previous videos so just i am running it we need to mention the name of the configuration file here so this is the configuration file you would find inside the file wheat this so let me press enter let me press enter let's launch the logist test so this is you need to go so this is the command for logist test i will mention this in the github also so you can check from there and i will share the github link so here you will find the all the configuration related to this particular demo so this is the name of our log stress configuration file and that's the complete path of the configuration file so let me press enter running the elastic search now then we will run the kivana so this is the simple command for kivana and elastic search let's wait for all the components to be running let's wait for the log stress yeah, log stress is started Five zero four five. It is trying to connect to Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch maybe not up. Yeah, it is started. Elasticsearch also started. So log is just connected to that. Let's wait for the Kivana. Kivana takes some time. Kivana is also up now. So all our components are running now all our software let's feed our csv data so i'm copying let me copy this let me copy this test data to the csv folder where our file bit is listening Yeah, you can see harvest I started for this particular the file which we have just copied test.csv let's see the log is test yeah you can see how many event there should be five one two three four and five yeah because five rows are present there and we are skipping the this row, first header row you can see the data what we have received name subject this is the message where complete row would be present publisher author and log file from where we have got this event the test.csv and book id so all our fields are present same for other e other four events so we have got the data from csv file to log test and log test should have sent this data to to elastic search on this so let's see elastic search if it is so we will use the kivana to see the data present in elastic search let's see and we will use kivana to see the data present in elastic search so the kivana is running on 5601 let's see if data is present in the kivana or not so kivana get the data from Kivana get the data from Elasticsearch. So purpose of Kivana is show the data present in the Elasticsearch. So let's see. So with the configuration, what what is there? Log test will send the data to this, and there would be index created called demo underscore CSV, where our data would be present. All these five JSON object would be present. Let's see. So this is here you need to go to the management check the index yeah you can see the index demo underscore csv okay so means we got the data now how to how to visualize that data so in the index pattern you need to go and create the index pattern so i would create an index pattern with the same name what is index pattern all these basic overview i have already given in my previous video on kivana and elastic search so please have a look on that so this is a time field 
and let's create a pattern index pattern yeah so this is created okay these are the fields of that so now go to the discover and you will see yeah so you can see how many data we have you can see this five let's see what is present there yeah subject message so all the data this it would be present there this complete data under the under source field under yeah under this under source field will our that particular json object would be present so you can see this is so now we have seen the we are getting the data in a elastic search now we are getting the data in elastic search from csv to elastic search we have seen here right we have verified suppose we have got one more file in that particular folder let's see if it is it is the data is also coming yeah data coming because you can see this event and from where the data it has read you can see the test hyphen copy dot csv means this file which we have copied just now has been read by the file bit and data has been sent to the elastic search so obviously elastic search will send the data to to here let's refresh and we should see the count five more so you can see now at this particular time how would you verify that from which file we have received particular data so we have seen here also in the log file the path of the file is present from where this data has been received so in the same way you can see the same here under the under source you will have a log file so this is the test or this is the data from test test or csv let's see the first and this is the data from test hyphen copy dot csv you can see the copy copy so let's see if it, it has read yeah we we, are, we can see the data in log test so means it is clear now we would now we will have five more data you can see the bar chart is there and it would show the data let's see yeah you can see this data is from this particular csv so now now we have verified that uh, the this particular our application is reading the data correctly so that's all for this session if you want to read more on elk stack i've created many videos please have a look on though you will get good idea how this elk application work how how you how we can create a elk application and also please subscribe to my channel to get notification about videos on software engineering thanks for watching see you in the next video